Hello everyone. I decided to create a series of videos that will help you and your students who are utilizing Chromebooks to be able to use them easier with navigation, understanding shortcut keys, uh, go to the help desk, and um, to be able to get into apps easily. So this first video uh, is going to be on utilizing the keyboard a little bit better. Now the first thing that I like to do is to show the virtual keyboard. If you go to control, alt, and then the question mark, it will bring up this view of the keyboard. Now the nice thing about this keyboard, if I, uh, first of all, you can see that this, the shift key is disable cap locks uh, just by itself. So you can disable the, the cap locks automatically when we get the cap locks on. But if I hold down the control key, you can see that things change. Uh, so anything with the control and Z is undo, control X is cut, uh, and the top row, you can see that you can mirror monitors, you can take a screenshot, so control and this key right here, which is the sixth key over, is also called the switch window. It's on your top uh, level of your keyboard. Uh, will allow you to take a screenshot. And I think that's super important that students understand how to take screenshots and you to take screenshots with uh, Chromebooks. If I hold down the Alt key, you can see that that's where we locate the caps lock. We have next window, you have shelf items. Uh, and these down here at the bottom left-hand corner, those are your shelf items. Uh, and you can switch windows, dis decrease brightness and um, increase key, br key brightness. So you can see all the things that you are able to do. Uh, some of these things can be done manually as well, but a lot of individuals use shortcut keys to make things go a little bit faster. If I hold down the control and the alt, that shows me a different kind of screenshot. This is the type of screenshot that I like to take. So control, alt, and that switch window key, the sixth one from the left on the top row, that one will help you achieve that. Um, also, I showed students one day in um, one of the science classes, the Chromebox spoken feedback, that is Control-Alt-Z. If you turn this on, it will speak everything on the screen. You may have students that need this, students who have accessibility issues. If uh, that's the case, Control-Alt-Z turns it on, Control-Alt-Z turns it back off. Okay. So these are um, the shortcut options through the virtual key board. I got that up by going control, alt, question mark. Uh, I get rid of it by hitting escape. Uh, I also can see through down this bottom right hand corner if I go to the help, the question mark. In the help I can also search keyboard and it will take me through several tutorials in order to uh, use my keyboard a little bit better. So that's the uh, part one of the keyboard, Chromebook 101 keyboard portion. I will continue with two more videos in regards to using your Chromebooks more efficiently.